at this point the penetration water is really slowed from the top going down because particles have developed along the way. The light spots on the side are all the uh, large areas which are still empty. I used hot water in a cylinder in the cold garage. As we get down toward the bottom we can see the wetting front of the capillary action down near the bottom. Getting, approaching the bottom of the container. Again, you can see it moving down slowly through capillary action. I'll turn the cylinder around a little bit here so we can see some other sides of it. This side over here must have had some finer dirt settled into the bottom of it as it's wetting slower. Go back up toward the top of the cylinder. Even though we have standing water on top, that's working its way down through. You can see the bubble action there. Um, there's bigger pore spaces just below that still have not filled yet. Water may be running through them, but it's still primarily traveling in the, the smaller pore spaces. Go back down toward the bottom. Okay, you can see water's gone around this area here for some reason. It's starting to wet below that. But that one spot hasn't had anything happen yet. Look in through here, we got some big pore spaces along in here which haven't got anything happening to them yet I'll keep the camera kind of trained on them added another three quarters of an inch of water to the top of the column cylinder a little bit more here. Okay now if you'll notice at the bottom right down here so it's starting to become saturated. And as we watch that see it's coming up on a great big pore space right in here and you look at where the white condensation was on there gives us a nice straight line across there you can see the little root just below it that was in the soil sample that I put in there But as you can see now, now that all of the capillaries have been filled, everything that can hold water tighter, now it's going in the area, the big areas, which no longer fill.
or did not fill up to this point. This is what happens after rain. Now, we'd expect the opposite to be true. If I had a hole in the bottom of this, where I could hit the uh, button and it would uh, start draining out, then the larger pore spaces, which don't hold water as tight, would be the first to drain. And the very last to drain would be the smaller pores which to adhesion and what have you hold that water a whole lot tighter to the particles I think the secret to this was adding water fairly slowly I put it in a narrow column where I could see it easy and I kind of bounced it a time or two to, to settle it closer to what it was when I dug it up it's nowhere near as solid as when I dug it because it came out of the ground in big clods. But you can definitely see the the fill level going back up. In the column and filling in these air spaces. We go above that even though the water is running down through there. And I add more to the top. We don't see these upper pore spaces filling yet. They're still empty. Still warm air against the cool sides of the cylinder. We come down to where that front's advancing. Maybe we'll hear the bubbles as the water's going down through. The air is coming out of the soil helping the soil breathe with flooding. Out goes the bad air, and as the water drains out following a heavy downpour when the soil becomes saturated, then air replaces it, and in comes the good air. It's a normal breathing process. I hope this shows what I was trying to do earlier, or what I was trying to show with this experiment. Um, I'll get you a copy of this or put it on YouTube where you can look at it or something to that effect. If we would let it go on, it would gradually fill clear to the top. 